Hello and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 16th of February 2022 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So as we head into a new week here we have seen gold prices break out to eight month highs. With that we of course now see gold retesting 1,879 US dollars per ounce. This goes back to what we mentioned with you back in December, our forecast for gold prices as we go into Q1 of 2022 to hit 1,875 US dollars per ounce. We hit that on Monday the 14th of February. And here is that exact clip where we talk you through our expectations for gold prices as we go into a new year. This is our expectation for price levels to get hit as we go into Q1 of 2022. So firstly on gold, it's currently trading at 1,787 US dollars per ounce. We are expecting into Q1 gold prices to touch 1,875 US dollars per ounce. So now that we've hit 1,875 US dollars per ounce, we immediately actually saw a tank to the downside taking the price down 350 points. This is exactly what I mentioned to you on the week ahead commodity report as well, that expect the potential for a sharp correction to the downside. You don't want to be FOMOing in, particularly in the current climate right now, where we have seen a bit of a cooling off here between the West and Russia over the last 24 hours. With that, we have seen pressure to the downside for energy and also for precious metal prices. However, that can all change very quickly. But the point being that you do not want to get into the moves too late. You need to be early to these trades, making sure that you are utilizing the right point of the cycle, data, market intelligence, and that you're taking advantage of the highly inflationary environment that we are in at the moment. Now, with respect to hedge fund and money manager positions, in the last week, they have increased those positions by 5% on gold. So of those funds that have a position on gold, 71% are currently long. And that's, of course, indicative of the price action we've seen in the last week with gold prices now up over 5% in the month of February, but breaking out to eight month highs within the last week. And obviously we've been able to capitalize on this massively. We talked you through the windfall profits that we've been banking over the course of January into February as well. And last week, again, we banked over 1,500 points profit on the metals. Just to give you that calculation for every one lot contract, that you would be trading, that's $15,000 of profit. For every 10 lot contract that you'd be trading, that's $150,000 of profit. Now, as we go into the middle of the week here, what else do you need to be aware of? On Wednesday, we have the minutes from the FOMC statement. That occurs three weeks after the FOMC statement. This can also be a big market mover. So I would absolutely look out for that as it relates to gold and also silver at the moment, because we have seen a fairly sizable pullback after the breakout to eight month highs. A lot of profit taking at that zone, but also that was the expectation that we would get this fast pullback to the downside after you see a slingshot move higher to capitalize on. And again, bank on strength, be nimble, make sure when you are gifted with a windfall amount of profit, take it off the table at the moment, or at least bank partial profits to make sure you're regularly locking in profits because the markets right now, very quickly, they can give you opportunities to come back in again and capitalize on the next cycle in the market, which we are setting up for really nicely now as we get through the middle of February. And then there's more great opportunities to be had over this quarter on commodities, which you definitely do not want to miss out on. So really the key takeaway at the moment, what you need to bear in mind is that we have seen exactly what we talked you through on the week ahead commodity report play out, which was that slingshot move higher at the beginning of the week. This finally hit the level that we forecast for this quarter of 1,875 US dollars per ounce for gold. We've subsequently seen the pullback we talked you through. So the point being, do not FOMO in, don't buy at the top of the move. We've also got the minutes of the FOMC statement on Wednesday, so you can look out for some great opportunities off the back of that. Then of course, we're also moving into month end capital flows, a very specific way to trade that. If you have found that you've got chopped up over the course of this week, it may just come down to either limited experience or you could be using technical analysis just by itself, which will not give you any edge at all in the market. So just keep getting chopped up all the time. It will be death by a thousand cuts and essentially you'll just get crushed if all you're using is technical analysis in these markets. You want to be utilizing data, statistics, market intelligence, understanding of key areas of liquidity, of the capital flows in the market alongside intermarket correlations, the ratios in the market, 
macroeconomics, the fundamentals, geopolitics, which has also been very important over the course of the last week, and of course, marry that up with how the hedge funds, money managers, and banks and institutions are positioned in real time. That will help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research of an approach to the market, and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make application to join our professional mentorship program.